What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I like to talk about all the rumors kind of out there about new Star Wars games in development. There's a lot of games that are, talk, uh, that are being talked about right now. We do know that there have been some changes with who's making these games. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, take a second, hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. I was born in the early 80s, so I've always been a fan of Star Wars. You know, I was born a little after some of the original movies came out, but I've always been a big fan of the movies, a big fan of the games. And all of these rumors kind of going around out there right now, uh, a lot of speculation, a lot of confirmed things from different developers. Talking about multiple Star Wars games in development is really, really exciting in my opinion. We do know that the EA and Lucasfilms contract has come to an end. That lasted for around 10 years. This doesn't mean EA can't make any Star Wars games anymore. This just means Lucas has not partnered with them to make those kind of official games year in and year out. But the first kind of bit of news we got was Lucasfilm has partnered with Massive Entertainment, which Massive Entertainment is the developers of The Division. And apparently they're going to be making an open world Star Wars game, which is one thing we've all been wanting for years and years. Uh, this has been something that the Star Wars community has been wanting for a long time. There's been some games that have been in development that never came through. They're supposed to be open world. We're not really sure exactly what it's going to be. If it's going to be an MMO style, RPG style game, if it's going to be like the Elder Scrolls Online kind of style. Who knows what this is going to be. But all I can say is I'm very, very excited to hear more about this once uh, Lucasfilms and Massive Entertainment decide to make some announcements. I think a open world Star Wars game is going to be a big hit if it is done correctly. And of course the guys over at Massive know about making open world games. They've made two division games now, which have had some issues. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but of course at the same time, I think with Lucasfilms, they could turn out, it could turn out to be a really good game. Now an anonymous source at EA has said that there is a very, very early uh, game in development, which is going to be Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Battlefront 3. We know that you know EA and DICE made Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. And it was, they said that DICE is trying to reinvent the Battlefront franchise. We do know that there's a new Battlefield game coming out at the end of this year, which makes me think that the Battlefront game uh, will probably be a couple years down the road if they're going to continue that kind of trend where they put out a Battlefield game. And then they put out a Battlefront game. So there's several years or, you know, a couple years in between them. I am interested to see kind of what they do with this. Battlefront 2 had a lot of promise, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of things could have been better. But I think Battlefront 2 was an improvement on Battlefront. Uh, it's still pretty popular. I got, of course, I played here on PS5, uh, PS4, excuse me. Um, almost said PS5. I just got PS5 on my brain. I'm never going to be able to find one, I guess. <laughs> is why I was thinking about that. But a Battlefront on PS4 is still very popular. Still, a lot of people play it on PC. It's had its ups and downs in, in, in player base. But I think overall, I think a lot of people would be really happy to see another Battlefront game. Also, like I said, there's talks of EA doing something else with another Jedi Fallen Order. Now, this is one of the few Star Wars games over the years I have not had a chance to play. I'm still planning on playing it at some point. I have heard good things about it. So if you played uh, you know, Jedi Fallen Order, let me know what you thought about it. I just didn't have time to pick it up at the time when it came out. I was playing other things, doing YouTube with other things. But that is one game that I missed out on that I'm really looking forward to playing in the upcoming, uh, you know, uh, next this year, you know, sometime in the future very soon. But like I said, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about that. I am kind of interested that EA is still looking to do these uh, games, even though they're not partnered with uh, Lucasfilms, you know, directly anymore. And last but not least, Knights of the Old Republic 3, which is another one that I am really uh, looking forward to if this is to be kind of believed this uh, you know this rumor from this EA kind of source inside source at EA uh, it was kind of it's going to kind of be the return of the 2003 Star Wars gaming franchise Knights of the Old Republic um, I played this on the original Xbox it was kind of a early ad adaption I, I guess adaptation of, of a kind of RPG style game it was a ton of fun I did really enjoy it on the original Xbox when I played it I played this game through several, several times. And in my opinion, if this is going to be a, a thing, they're going to come out with another Knights of the Old Republic and kind of do that open world RPG kind of style concept. Uh, you know, Lucas and Massive are going to be doing a open world style game. We're going to get uh, a new, you know, uh, Battlefront 3, uh, a new, uh, just new games in general, you know, an another Jedi Fallen Order. It's just going to be a great 
time in the upcoming years for Star Wars fans. Now, will all these games pan out? Will they all be created? Will some of them get left behind, put on the back burner while other ones get worked on? Who knows? But if all of this is true, like I said, this is coming from an inside source at EA that was not confirmed in name or anything like that. But if all these things are true, I think this could be a big, big year for, or, you know, a big couple of years for Star Wars. Hopefully we'll get some more information from these developers, you know, with some these confirmations of what they're making, even if we don't get, you know, gameplay or anything like that, if they're in very early development. At least in the next couple of years, we should have several different Star Wars games to play. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about it. If you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.